Hello, everybody, and welcome to round six of the FBR V8 Supercars Championship. This is it. This is the final round of this championship. It's been a heck of a ride. All of five events have been jam-packed with action. And we are here today to end it all in, as uh, we are about to see, the uh, championship is all but a given for a Roman Gratanovich, who has taken the points out of reach for anybody. 51 point gap on Neil Wood, as you can see. And uh, even he could sit this one out with the 40 points max for a top finish. He could kick back and have himself a nice lunch and uh, just take home the trophy. But that's not Roman style. He's going to be running it out to the end to take the championship in fashion and perhaps even set a track record. So we do have a little bit of a battle, as you can see here, looking at the scoreboard that we have up there. Ed, behind, you don't want to see what just happened to Roman behind there. Okay. So the second and third place battle continues. So with only uh, 15 points behind Neil Wood is Matteo Danatella. And right behind him with about 17 points is Kale Graff. So these three guys right here are fighting for the podium with Costas right there in the mix too, as you can see. So let's just get rid of this and we will take a look around. We are in the last few laps of practice here. So we are going to uh, just kind of have a little trip around the track here and check out these guys. There's Freddie Hell. Driving for Virtual Drivers Alliance. He is healing from uh, one of the drivers uh, on this epic team. We do we do have a team battle going on as well, and I'll, I'll just read you those points. So, Dr. Pepper Fueled Motorsports, which is led by Neil Wood, they have 88 points, and about 25 points behind them is John Vanderkey's team, D-E-A-R. They are 25 points back for second place in the team championship. And then it is the VDA Virtual Drivers Alliance, some two points behind Vanderkey's for second. So. These drivers for uh, the, the uh, VDR are all battling for a, also a podium in the uh, team event. So there you have that. And it looks like the session is about to change and we are heading into quali now. So what we are going to do is get the qualification lines up. And we are going to have a look here. We're going to have a 15-minute session. It's going to uh, consist of uh, everybody getting out there as they can. And putting in their fastest laps and hopefully giving each other enough room to, uh, you know, we get it done without interference. We had a few, uh, a, a few uh, mind battles last week. There was a lot of traffic on the mountain as we battled it out on the mountain. As we just take a look around at some of these sections here at Adelaide, what a beautiful place, what an amazing track. And of course, we don't want to forget our sponsor, Aptora. The solution for quick book solution for all contractors. Make sure to give them a visit if you have any needs for any of your accounting details. Get a hold of Aptura, our sponsor. And also, don't forget that we are brought to you live in 1440p, uh, sponsored by Flying Crowbar Racing and Sim Racing Online. Thank you for sponsoring us for all that. And of course, our main sponsor, Aptura, as you well know. So, no further ado, let's see who's out on track. I believe the clock has started. So let's get the uh, tower up and see what we can do here. There is uh, Roman Gratanovich, our champion point leader, out on his first outlap. See what kind of pace he can set here for the rest of the field. Right, what a great street circuit this is. Really tough. Remember the Adelaide Street Circuit, also known as the Adelaide Parkland Circuit. It's a temporary street circuit in the East Parklands adjacent to the Adelaide Central Business District in South Australia. 378 kilometers, probably 2.3 miles. I believe this 68 version is that indeed. I am not positive, but anyway. 
Uh, even the Formula One used to race here, and I don't know if they will ever again, but from uh, 85 to 95, they were here as well as the American Le Mans Endurance Series. Yeah, they had a New Year's Eve race in 2000, and it was called the Race of a Thousand Years. Pretty cool stuff. So Adelaide has a great history, and whoa, let's go, Roman. Going to be an exciting battle here today. Can't wait to see just what is going to happen. Come down now, 16 turns on this epic street track. Got a couple famous places like the Senna Chicane, which is right there past the start and finish. Uh, I think where we're looking at now is the Brabham Straight. The Brabham, yeah, Brabham Straight coming down into turn 11. Really tight hairpin right here. Really got to get on the brakes. And into this tricky little section here. This is the 12, 13, 14, 15. Just little kinks. And then the menstrual hairpin turns 16, coming back down onto the uh, start finish straight. Right there we go. And that is 16 turns deep. You can see now he's coming up to the, to the Senna chicane. Let's have a look at this. From the, so getting this just right is going to be key to the race today. As you can see, Gratanovic's time up there about 130.054. And that times are starting to come in behind him, as we see. So, good to see uh, Tony Talvitie coming back. Uh, he's missed a few races, but he's joining us again today for the finale. Great to see Tony back on track. He's been in a few of these races with us. He's missed a few, but that's a good-looking car he's got there. You can see his name on the window there. Really nicely done. He battles on his way. Really going to be some... Uh, some battle here today. This truck track is hard to pass on, so I have no idea uh, what's going to happen. It's going to be hard to keep track of all the action, so hopefully I'll be able to get it to you as it happens and uh, not miss too much of it. So we'll, we'll stick with Tony here, Talvitie, on his first time lap. It's currently a second, or is it a second time lap? My bad. He's eight almost a second off on his first lap and it does not look like he's improving he is full yellow in sectors one and two on this lap so maybe he's going to kind of give it a rest here as he comes through this tricky 12 13 14 15 section it's just brutal in here yep and he's calling it a day so let's see let's check out flying crowbar driver mark Hightree, who is also sporting that app Pura skin from our sponsor it's a good looking car one of our SRO admins getting it out there. Currently in fifth. Looks like he's kind of taking it easy here. Listen to these cars. I love the sound of these cars. You know, yeah, he's just kicking a little outlap track here. Good, opening up the throats of these monster V8s as we make our way around. Let's check down uh, Jason Whited in that new Leon skin there. Independent. Get a glimpse of him taking a few laps. And then we have Matteo D'Antalia. Matteo, he's currently third in the point, so he will be in this battle for that second and third step of the podium. As you can see, he's green in sector one there, so let's see what he can do. Got Graf up there. Also in that battle, he is currently fourth in the points. So these guys are going to have him duking it out here between uh, Woody, Graf, and uh, Dantella. Could be a battle. And then there's some sleepers down here that might be able to squeak their way. I mean, even down to Costas in fifth place, he's only one point back of Kale. Graf, who's also 17 points off of Mateo, who again is 15 points off of Wood. So it's going to be a stretch. Neil is going to have to have an extremely bad race to let these guys take over his second place. But I think he can still maintain a podium if he can just keep it clean. And uh, as Woody has done and proven in the past, he, he does keep it clean and manages to finish. So we'll keep our eye on that as well. Let's get... Uh, uh, who else is not on track? Here is Costas here. Let's check out Costas. He's starting our ripper. Talvitia is holding that second place spot still with that .8 off. Oh, 
Look at these babies coming off those curbs. Man, I'm going to miss this series. This has been, really been fun. Oh, as it so he finds the wall. Pieces and parts are everywhere. Oh, I wish we could have a shot of his pit crew. The guys are kind of putting their arms up in frustration as they know now they're going to have to do a little body work before the race. And, uh, you know, that's all virtual, so nobody gets hurt. Just their feelings. Uh, where is our host, John Vendrick? He's also sporting an Aptura skin. Another admin at Sim Racing Online, sponsoring our uh, sponsor. <laughs> we want to really thank. I want to, <laughs> excuse me. I want to also take this time, since we are in the last round of this, starting next month. And April 7th is the GT Revival Series. That is also going to be live broadcast. And we are stepping it back in time. We are going to break out those historic cars. Really going to be something else. So you want to take a look at the Sim Racing Online schedule and get yourself signed up for that. I think we currently have 14 or 15 drivers. Get yourself in there and have a round with these cars. You're going to love them. And that should be an interesting, fun series as well. So check that out. That's coming April 7th. We'll be round one. So you got plenty of time. After this, to get into those cars, I was going to run a little trailer here for it, but I didn't have time to build it. So anyway, get yourself into those cars. You won't uh, be unhappy at all. It's a really, really fun, fun series. It's going to be, and those cars are great. Jumping into those old 60 cars, are awesome stuff. So the James Rizzi, let's take a look at James Rizzi here. Got that awesome Sims Legend Racing Team in the Mustang. As the top order is uh, pretty much settling in here, let's get a look at how much time we got left. Got six minutes left in qualifying, so the guys are going to start gritting their teeth and figure out where they can do or what they can do to move themselves up in the grid a little bit. Like I said, passing is going to be a premium here. It's going to be hard. Uh, you know, there's going to be some incidents, I can tell you right now. I love all these curbs that are out in the middle of this converted street circuit just to kind of keep the guys honest a little bit so you can't cut some of that too tight. They do make it so you got to be at least on the uh, driving line to hit the apex and right. There it is. That turn 16 hairpin, menstrual hairpin they call it, mistral. And then down the Batman Street is on Desk. I don't know how to pronounce it. D E Q U E T T E. Bill Harris is the name of the road when it's just for regular traffic. Yeah, and we got Rundle Road and Hutt Street. Uh, all these type of the year come apart and become the racetrack that is Adelaide. And we thank uh, the city for doing that for us. Let's see if we got any other contenders for the pole up here. It's, Rizzi's a yellow in his sector so far. So let's jump over to Dantella and see how he's doing. He is green in sector one. So he's got a shot to bump himself up currently in fourth. Bust that turn 10 heading down to the Brabham Strait. One of the few places you get to open it up, but then holy smokes, you're hard on the brakes for the hairpin. De Quetville, De Quetville hairpin. Whoa, 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 hang on to there. Brake bias is important. Looks like you got a little fishy on him there, as you can see. And then into this tricky little section 12, 13, 14, and 15. Four turns all within a few hundred meters, it seems. Comes on you quick. Find the menstrual hairpin. Look at that. That's a good looking Mustang right there. So let's see what he can do. He's green and green and green. Is he going to bump himself up a little bit? He's currently 107 off. Yes, he does indeed. He puts himself in second position above of Delutier. Great lap for Dentella. He puts himself up. Let's see if Talvite, he's sitting in the pits, so I don't think he's going to challenge. Uh, where is Mr. Graf? Uh, let's see. Freddy is 
out there on a lap. Costas is on a ripper. Let's check Costas. Here we go. <laughs> Just starting a lap here. He is also right down in there close, currently in fourth, as we can see. So I'm 1.3 off. Look at that lap by Dentellos. You've been just about a half a second to Kratanovich. And I'm wondering if Kratanovich is going to do his typical two-stop. I mean, this guy's amazing. He, You know, a lot of these guys are trying to stretch these tires. They don't want to pit the time it takes in the pit stop. But uh, Kratanovich is able to do a two-stopper in just about every race. As we see a little bit of fancy dance in there by Costas. Way to save it. But anyway, yeah, Kratanovich with his two-stop strategy, keeping the fresh rubber. It, you know, it's certainly paid off for him as he is the champion uh there you have that and it looks like uh is he is costa still in it is he quitting on this lap? Oh, it looks like he's still pushing pretty good as we go through this last sector section from the bumper cam you can just kind of see you know it's really really a fun part of the track when you get it down the timing and just the left right left right it it, it is something to do but that is a blast in these cars and there you have it, he's yellow on the yellow, so no threat there as we are down to the last minute and a half of quali. So let's see if anybody can move up. Talavite is still, still in the pits. Dantella is out on a ripper. Man, he's going to try and set himself up. Let's see if he's going to have time. Did he pit for an outlap? It says it's on his outlap, so I don't know if he's coming back with fresh rubber. But in the meantime, let's check out Costas because Costas is on a ripper. And he's trying to move himself up. Cantazoras. See if he can bump himself up and bump Tony out of that third spot. He is yellow in sector one, so. Might be a reach for him. Oh, he looks like he kissed the wall a little bit there. Yellow and yellow. Okay, the, all the cars are getting a little fishy there in that section. Okay, what he's got. I like how the track marker doesn't update. I mean, he's coming across the start finish, but it's still just showing him a second off and second one, so... Don't believe he's going to improve, and he does not. So let's check out Mateo. As he did get it in just in time as the clock has expired. But he did cross the line, so this lap will count. So let's see if uh, Mateo it is bid to bump off Roman. And I think Roman just bested his time with a 29.506. So as we're speaking, Roman set a new fastest lap at 129.506. So that just makes it even tougher for uh, Dentella. But Mateo, throwing it out there. He is green in sector one, so not purple, but green. So he's besting his own time. He needs to get purple in there to knock uh, Roman off. Oh, keep it off the tires. Well, that was a close one. He goes as he opens his baby up. Head to turn 11. Yep, he lost a little bit of time there in sector two. So it doesn't look like he's going to be able to take pole. Do we have anybody out there threatening? It looks like Randy Merrick is also out on track still. So we'll slip to him and see if he can move himself up. He is currently at 13th. I believe he's on a ripper. So, yep, there you have it. But Dantella, not going to improve. And let's check out, uh, Did Mer is Merrick still out there? Nope, I think they're all in. Uh, Whited is still out. Nope, he's not out. Okay, my stuff is open. Rizzy, Rizzy Rizzi's the only one left on track. I don't think he got across in time. I do not believe this lap is going to count. So I think we are set in our starting order right here. And this is going to be it. And I am going to set that right now. So there we have it. The checker flags are out, as you can see. 
And because James is out there, with you, we'll just keep a focus on him. And there he goes. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is your starting position right there, as you can see. We've got Gortanovic, Dantella, Televitie, Cantasaurus, and Graf, our top five. Then uh, Hell, Wood, Vandergeese, Smythe, and Whited in the from 5 through 10. Hytri in 11th, Baldoni in 12th, Merrick in 13th. Rizzi 14th, Da Silva 15th, Wynnum and Summers bringing up the rear. So that will be it. Nicely done, gentlemen. So now we have, yeah, I think it's a five minute warm up. Let these guys get out there and uh, take a few laps with full fuel. Uh, look at some of the guys we haven't got a good look at. Just... Who's heading out? Who's heading out? All right. Zuppy. Nope. Merrick. Roman. Yeah, we've got a little bit of time here. Here we go. So here is your leader. Looks like we got some fun stuff going on just in front of him there. Doug Giuseppe, yeah. So here's a give me quick quick name tags. There you go, Giuseppe and Merrick. Giving it a drag down the Brabham straight. Giving each other room there, nicely done. Looks like a typical Australian day. Hello, how you doing? Not a cloud in the sky, blistering heat. Good looking skin that America has there. I like that. There's Grand Rapids and there's Big Rapids. So, what's the difference? Is the Big Rapids bigger than the Grand Rapids, where Randy Hale's from? Big Rapids, I believe, is where Randy is from. So, big shout out to the fans of Big Rapids. I want to know, is Grand, are the Grand Rapids grander than the Big Rapids, or the Big Rapids bigger than Grand Rapids? I don't know. These are the questions that we all want to know, to know the answer to. Let's see, a uh, Jonas Legacion is in. Let's check, oh, and there he is now with the Coca-Cola. Don't open that can, it is going to fizz up on you. That just got shook up. So that was Jonas. <coughs> Excuse me. Ben Summers in the pitch. Wyndham's in the pit. <laughs> Excuse me. Smythe. And that green and yellow flame looking car. Good looking stuff. Dixie Merrick plumbing on his car. I believe that's Randy's company, but uh, I'm just speculating by Randy being the driver and plumbing being on his teammate car so there you have that what else we got up here uh who have not we looked at freddie hell bonjour freddie french drivers so I, w I wonder you know this is the last race i don't know if he pronounces that h-e-double-l as hell or heel or hal or whatever but 
for the hell of it, I'm calling him hell because I just kind of like the way it sounds. And I get to say hell, and I have an excuse. So Freddie Hell, who's given him hell this round, has really uh, proved himself over this series to be one of the better drivers. They like watching him. Good stuff. Uh, Giuseppe Baldoni in that VDA. Yeah, me. He's another virtual driver alliance member. Pulling it into the pits. These guys, the time is running down, and we are just about ready to get going here. So that is the checkered flag. So we got a couple minutes here to uh, get yourself ready, get yourself settled for what is to be 60 minutes of racing at the Adelaide Street Circuit in these uh, battle proven V8. Australian supercars really love this mod I really like it what a great job that uh, the modders did on this I love all the angles hello here we go as they're gonna start trickling in here and once they do that we will let them have their uh, rolling formation lap standing start so these guys are gonna make it around and then, uh, yeah, stop again and wait for the green. So as we're doing that, let's get a look at the starting order. There you have Grotanovich, Dantella, Televitie, and Casadores, your top four. Followed by Kale Graffin, fifth, Freddie Hell, and sixth, Neil Wood, your second place driver, and seventh, and in eighth, Sean Bender. Right in eighth will be Jacob Smythe, and then Jason Whited in tenth, Mark Hytry in eleventh, our FKR driver, and Giuseppe Baldoni. Twelfth, thirteenth will be Randy Merrick, and fourteenth, James Rizzi. Gills da Silva will bring in fifteenth, Stefan Whittem in sixteenth, and that uh, leaves us with uh, Ben Summers in seventeenth. We also have. 18 cars on the grid, so I'm not sure what's going to happen there. But in the meantime, you guys are wrapping it up. Full of fuel, getting around. I'm sure these guys were on limited fuel in the uh, qualification. So I was kind of curious to see what the fastest laps are going to look like as we get rolling here. down the Brabham straight for the last time as gentlemen the next time down this straight it's going to be here's on fire time As the leaders are now coming through the uh, 12, 13, 14, and 15 section, getting into that Mistral hairpin, turn 16, to take their positions on the grid. As we get set for 60 minutes of racing, All right, we will listen for the horns, and I will try and get the action. I think we are focused on the third place car, Talavitia, so we can see somebody's in the pit already. That would be Rizzi, starting from the pits. I don't know what that's going to do to the start lights. It might throw a little bit of a whammy. I think this happened a couple times before, but we did eventually get the green. So we shall see. Here we go. And we are racing round six. Here we go. Second leaders get off to a decent start. 
back down the middle of the field as they make it through. Bingo, bongo, bingo, bango. Oh, looks like everybody made it through the center chicane. That's good news. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we got to get it tight, get it tight. A little bit of contact there. That was Woody, wasn't it? Yes, indeed. What's happening in the back here? You guys are all making it through. Tail in. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Quarter of 11. I think we have all the cars still. Green flags. Good to see. All right, up at the pointy end, there is Gratanovich. Already got himself a little bit of a lead. As did tell us, going to do everything he can to stay with him. Keep it in the zip code. Things are tight back here in that third, fourth place spot. They come thundering down the Brabham Strait for the first time in anger. Hard on the brakes for turn 11. The deck of the Quilterville, whatever the heck it will. Hairpin. Nicely done. These guys are getting through. Let's take a look back here. There's High Tree. Currently in ninth, though, he has moved himself up a couple spots. Nicely done. Vandergeese has dropped a few, so the two Aptora cars, <coughs> one made a few, one lost a few. They're looking good in there. They're Baldoni taking it off, doing a little bit of maintenance work for the groundskeepers. I see Ed Vandergeese, the Silva. Oh, the Silva's also in an Aptora car. I forgot about Giuseppe, another great supporter of our sponsor, Aptura, Quick Book Solutions. Nicely done, Giuseppe. So these guys duke it out. Let's see what's happening up at the tipping point. Here is your second place and third place battle with Roman out front. What's new? Oh, I love the way these guys are just taking everything they can out of this track. Nicely done. Let's see at the tail end here. We got a little bit of battles going right with the Legacion, the Silva, and Baldoni all duking it out here. As they are spread, it almost looks like they're going three wide through this section. Oh, just to keep it up. up. I'm hearing, I heard destruction. <laughs> Who was it? Sumner's is in the back. It has to be Sumner's. He's missing a bumper. So there we have that. Freddy Hell. The batter for seven. Good heavens. Back to the tail end here. This battle for 12, they got four cars all duking it out for the same spot. Meanwhile, Woody at fifth place in that good looking monster car. As he comes around, turn 16, head, head down the start finish. All right, it's time for the tower. Here we go. I don't like to bring it up too early because it creates a bunch of lag as it updates during those first laps. Now that everybody's settled in, should be good to go. Nicely done, nicely done. Still, these tail end battles are looking really good back here. These guys are really fighting. Great battles all the way down through the grid here. That's one the great thing about sim racing is, you know, not everybody's an alien. Not everybody's fighting for the wins all the time. But you can always find somebody to race with as we see some two-wheel action going there. And that's exactly what's going on down here in the 13th, 14th, and 15th spot. So it looks like uh, our first driver out is Randy. That must have been him. We heard the crash. I'm really sorry Randy is out. We also have Baldoni in the pits. So unfortunate for the big Rapids driver in round six. This is going to be it for his series as he finds himself out we will have to look at the replay later to see exactly what happened maybe he'll give us a debrief in the uh, forums but yeah i'm really sad to see randy out of this race meanwhile this duke in battle right here that is freddie hell he is looking to get that spot process a sixth place battle as they settle in meanwhile back at the top let's see Roman he's got that 1.3 gap on Dantella and uh, Talvitie shouldn't be too far back behind uh, but he's got Graf right on his tailpipe so Tony's got, playing a little bit of defense while well, you can see he's keeping up with uh, 
Nutella up there. There is your gap to second place. Look at these turns. I mean, you are just so close to kissing the walls. Delvitie, staying in it. Meanwhile, back here for this gap, this battle for 13th and 14th. See all these guys. Oh, it's taking a little wide there. Winnem Rizzi and Whited all within a second of each other. There's some good racing going on here. And then back in the 6th, 7th, we've got this epic battle for 6th place is Woody up in front there, all the way back to 7th, 8th, and 9th. You can see Hytree in 9th bringing up the rear there, so just one false move away from uh, gaining a spot. Most of these guys, it looks like that was Hytree picking a little bit wide there. Oh, we got a yellow in Sector 2. So keep on it, you guys. Be careful. These guys are just duking it out. Yellow in Sector 2 is still happening. It looks like it's cleared now. So that is Smythe. With Hytree and Vanergy. And the two Aptora cars right on his tail. Holding the top 10. So that is your top 10 fight right now. Meanwhile, Woody's defending out. He's losing, he's losing the defense. He's into the tires. Woody's just out late on the brakes. Try to get out. Now he's stuck. Everybody's getting out of the way. Holy smokes. So there you <laughs> That. Mr. Wood is not going to be happy about that. It didn't look like anything but a uh, little bit of over outbreak himself there. The car got a little out of hand. And uh, yeah, he lost all those spots. Smooth's cost us up. And Freddy up. So there is Costas in fifth. And Freddy Hell in sixth now. Separated that gap. Uh, let's see. High Tree finds himself in seventh, and Vandergeese in seventh and eighth, some second between. Smythe got through all that too, so everybody got around Woody. And there is Woody. Looks like hopefully it's no worse for wear. Let's let's check out and see if he's got a bent steering. Looks like he's okay. I don't see any angles. No angles, no tangles. He's making it through this section. Looks like he's okay. To be able to maintain the car there, so. Or Woody, he's very consistent. He's going to fight back. I mean, I think there has not been a race yet in this series where he hasn't had to come back from some kind of incident. And he's proven himself over and over to do that. So, meantime, Salavitie with Graf on its tail, still trying to close that gap. We can still see the leader just in front there, so the gaps to the lead are slowly growing. There is Roman. You can see he's got two seconds on Mateo now, so as it slowly grows lap after lap, it just shows that uh, Roman's pace just, it's just that much quicker than the rest of the field, and so his, it just grows and grows and grows, and then he's able to do these two stops to keep the fresh rubber, and uh, keep himself in it. So, really, really excellent driver, Roman Gratanovich. And he's pretty relatively new to R Factor, too. I've seen him race in a Project Cars, and he just shreds it up in there, too. So, excellent driver. Glad to have him out here at Sim Racing Online with this. And here is Televitie and Graf fighting that battle. Let's check out back here in the mid pack Vandergeese and High Tree. You can see Woody in the back out there. And uh, Freddie Hill and Costas right up here fighting it out. As they're heading through that section 13, 14, and 15, getting ready for the menstrual hairpin. This passing opportunity right here, if you can just get it right, but it's such a hairpin that you got to be on the brakes. And that uh, kind of wipe shot. That's got a yellow in sector three, but it was a quick yellow, which is good. As you can see, there's High Tree and uh, Vandergeese just behind these guys. Meanwhile, back at the tail end here is Whitted, Whited and Arizzi coming through. All right. Nice job there. And here is Vandergeese and High Tree. So, for the first 10 minutes, we have two DNFs now. Baldoni 
in Merrick. So that other yellow is probably Baldoni. Sad to see these guys go in the last event of the series. And then we also have Smythe in the pits. So Jason is pitting. I don't know if he's pitting for damage or if he's getting his new set of tires to try and stretch it a little longer. But I would suspect this early in the race that he is pitting for tires along with uh, who just also just pitted was Whitted. Whitted just pitted. So Whitted pitted. There they are in the pits. How you doing? Meanwhile, back to the pointy end. Rutanovic stretching his legs, 2.5 now. As you see him coming around the last hairpin there, down to start finish straight. With Delvite and Graf, not far behind. Trying to chase down the Thala. And then the two uh, SRO admins are duking it out in the Aptura cars. Vandergeist just hanging with high trees, putting up a really good show for Flying Girl Wire Racing. Glad to see that. Nicely done, gentlemen. Got just about under a second gap there. And Vandergeist hopping over the curve, trying to get the second move on the inside. Vandergeist does. Was that legal? Yes, it was. He just jumped the curve. There is the white lines way outside of that. So if you want to take a chance hitting that curve, you can. And that has just bumped High Tree right in front of a van of a high Vandergeist right in front of High Tree. As we saw, he took the inside off the curve. Very risky move. It could have thrown him into the wall. But hey, you know what? No balls, no glory. He went for it. He's got the spot. So good on you. Now High Tree's got a counter. Mustang versus Chevy in the two Aptura cars, so let's go. Meanwhile, we got a battle here. Oh, looks like we've got trouble. Mateo, our second place car, is dropping like a rock. He's overheating. I'll bet he forgot to open up the radiator after Quali. He is in trouble. He's about to blow up. You can see him smoking there. Is he going to pit? Nope, he's not. He's going to keep it alive. Wow. Our second place car has just smoking like a chimney. Moving Talvitier up into second, grabbing the third. Oh, Mateo. It had to be uh, too much cape on the radiator. Oh, I heard another crash. Good heavens, I don't see a yellow there. The sound effects in this game are very deceiving. Who else, is that Roman up there? Who? Nope, Roman's way up there. That is the other. Who is that? Okay, that's Ben in the other shell, red and yellow. So what is going to happen to Mateo as he drops down the field? Costas will be next. Costas might be able to smell the smoke in front of him and be able to catch up. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Disaster looming for Dandela. You can see... Man, I wish we could get see his temps. We can't see his temps. They're just uh, placeholders, I believe, because I'm telling you right now, his water is not at 32. So that moves Talvitier up in a second. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Was that him back there? I thought I saw a crash right behind him. Nope. Meanwhile, pretty, there's the yellow in sector three. All right, that yellow clear, that's good. So there is Freddy. Trying to close in on Costas for that now fifth place. We got some lap traffic in front of him. And the lap car lets him through, nicely done. I think that's the that's the curve that Vandergeist got the advantage on High Tree. So was that what happened to High Tree? High Tree is now down in the field. That might have been High Tree, one of those other things. Ninth place, Woody got around him. So High Tree must have had an incident. As we see, he's changed places with uh, Woody. Vandergeist is some five seconds ahead, so. Yeah, it had to have had, uh, High Tree must have had an incident in that Aptora livery bumping into the wall or something. 
Meanwhile, Mateo, you gotta quit smoking, bro. This is bad for your health. Charlie's kids, and quit, and don't be vaping either. He's in trouble. Uh, and Smythe is in the pits. So Smythe pitting probably for tires as we're hitting the quarter mark. 44 minutes. So the first 15 is up. Mateo's hanging in out there. And here's a battle with Witted. Ben Summers. And that's De Silva there. There he is. The, remember we heard that first wreck, the bumper of Ben. But meanwhile, De Silva holding on to 11th in that Aptor skin. He's got like 10 seconds on 12th place. So, But Legacion chasing down High Tree in that currently in that ninth spot after whatever incident he had. So here is Hytree coming up, and we've got some other cars off the track here. Who is that? That was Witted again. Okay, so Witted had a little bit of an incident. Hytree hanging on to ninth. Let's see the battle for third. This is Graf, who's gotten around the once was second place car. How many more laps can Mateo keep it on out there? I mean, we're only 15 minutes in, and he is definitely in trouble overheating. So, four-second gap to the leader from Talavintier. And then he's got about a strong two seconds on uh, Mateo does Kale for that third place. And then let's see if this will bring up uh, the differences. Oh, it's not going to show us much. All right, I was hoping it was going to give us some battles there. Nope, it's all individual stuff, so we'll get back to this window. We have Graf starting yet another lap going into the center chicane. I <laughs> got Mateo. Oh, Vandergeese is closing in on uh, Freddy. Looks like he's getting pretty racy here. Hang on to it. This is the battle for sixth place. Oh, head, hell goes wide as Vandergeese is going to take it. He's got the opening. It's a drag race and Freddy has to give way. Same place that Neil Wood lost it. That's a treacherous corner. I bet these tires are starting to get tired. And Vander gets moved himself up yet another spot. Brilliant drive so far by John. Moving his way up this field. Taking advantage when he can. Nicely done. Back here at the tail end, we got this battle with Witted and Summers. 15th and 14th, some two seconds, less than two second gap. I believe they have a lap car in front of them. As the Silva pits, the Silva pits, I'm sure, for rubber. I'm looking at the way these guys are taking some of these turns, they got to be running out of rubber. Meanwhile, back to the Vander Geese. Does Freddy Hell have anything for John to come back with? It looks like Freddy's struggling a little bit with that car. Let's get a look from the uh, driver's point of view. Looks like he's steering is doesn't seem to be bent. We're in a section here, but it does look like he's dealing with some worn tires. He might have started on the softs and they might have given up. So not sure on that. Let's see if I can bring that up. No. So he's in. Let's jump back up to this Neil Woody. Early in seventh, so Wood has battled himself back as predicted. But I think some of these positions were due to the troubles. And as we can see, uh, Freddie Hill is now in the pits. And I'm sure he's getting some rubber because it did have that look like he was driving on ice. So 40 minutes to go. First pit stops. You can see, I think Freddie Hill desperately needed to get some fresh 
shoes on that car. So there we go. Have that. Rutanovic, in the meantime, 10 seconds over Graffin. He's coming in for his first pit stop. So there you have it. As predicted. And I'm sure he's on a two-stopper. So Dentella. Now I wonder if we get, Dentella could get in there to get tires and take some of that tape off. It might save his day because I don't know if he can get that stuff off. Because Televitie finds himself in fourth. So I wonder if he also pitted. Let's see what we got here. <coughs> Hope it's not going to update. Okay, now it's now it's good. It was showing him in fourth. Now he's showing him where he should be in second place. So what am I? Am I seeing things? Sorry. And there is Kale in third place. He's got a couple seconds over. <coughs> the next place car. You see up on your scoreboard on the tower now. This is the dish between each car and position as Graf remains in the pits I believe or he did pit he, the timer's going down but interesting how this uh, software works because <laughs> there's some kind of a delay my one screen shows him in the pits the other one I go to him they're on track still but you can see the timer shows Graf in the pits but yet we're watching him so how you doing up there Meanwhile, let's just go to Woody. He's not in the pit. We don't have to contact the aliens to figure out what the heck's going on. So Gratanovich has been in and out. He's on fresh rubber, and he's still got the lead. So, and there is Talvitie from four and a half seconds, almost five seconds back. And let's see if this... Uh, We'll update now. Talvitie with the best lap of a 131, so nicely done, Tony. Let's refresh overlays. There we go, okay. That got that stupid running clock out of the way. Meanwhile, Costas and Vandergeese. Looks like it was a little speeding in the pitch going on there. I don't see any penalties though, so I think he got away with it. Oh no, Dutella, Dutella, as predicted, is out of this race. He just smoked it, burned it up. So now we have Baldoni, Merrick, and Dutella all have retired from this last round. And Summers is in the pits. Mateo, it's just a matter of time with that. I don't know if the pit stop options should allow you to remove tape, but <laughs> unless he had a contact and it ruined his radiator but the way he was just cleanly in second place so I do not think that was the case. Meanwhile back at the tippy end it just blows my mind that Gertanovich has had a stop and yet he's still in first place so over Talvitie. Here is the gap to the leader. Oh they've gone around yes De Silva Spins it right in front of the second place car, Talvitie. Let's see, has he got any damage? Tony. Oh yeah, looks like he's able to keep going. The new fastest lap there by Graf, 131.686. So he takes that away from Talvitie, who did just have the fastest lap a few laps before. So Graf coming out. I guess these guys are getting the fresh rubber and making it pay, so nicely done. It looks like Talvitie is okay after that quick incident. Oh, whoa, do I speak too soon? He's got a little bit of body damage on the nose, but I think his uh, steering is okay. You see a little bit of front end work on that Chevy. All right, good job. Okay, so meanwhile, Winham and Freddie Hell are duking it out for 10th. Freddie currently in ninth. Gets the spot. Move his way up the line. And then we got Vandergeese, who has let Woody has got around Vandergeese. So you can see that positions gained and lost. Vandergeese is up two spots, 
and Woody is up two spots. Remember, I told you he had the incident, but now he is back. And this, a lot of this is due to the pit stops too. So, once the pit sequence finishes, he might jump back down into that spot. But for now, he's looking pretty good. You can see the Q Hawks that are spinning. Smythe has been in twice. So, keep that. The, they're not going to tell us what tires they're on, so we can't get that. But we'll put the gap to each other up there. Get this. Where is Woody? So he's got just under a two second gap on Vandergeese. Vandergeese. Heading into the center chicane. This is where he got high tree, I believe. So if he can gain any time at all. Aptora. Quick book solutions. Moving it up. Where is Mr. High Tree? Mark finding himself in seventh, so he has survived in the first 20 minutes or so as well. As we have sector one yellow, but it was a quick yellow. So good to see High Tree still in action. So Sumner's, remember he had that first lap incident. He has pitted it, got a new bumper it looks like. And he, since the DNFs, he's finding himself moving up. Uh, we have four DNFs so far, so he, as he continues to unlap himself from those guys, there is Smythe. Rizzy battle for 12th and 13th right here. There is De Silva in the other Aptura car. 12th, my 13th Rizzy as Sumner gives way. Why is he getting out of that battle's way? All Ben's got to do is hang in there and he's going to bump himself up. Just to be the fact that these guys are dropping like flies on the Adelaide road circuit that is you know we thought the mountain was hell this track has always been a nail biter that's why we love it so much so meanwhile does Vandergees have anything for Woody I think he's keeping him in the zip code he's under a second so I like that Looks like he's tightening up on him a little bit. See what John's got. Tricky section right there. Gotta just not take too much curb on this part. All right, I believe coming up on, I think this is a turn 10 right here. Sketchy hairpin. And then down the Babram straight. Let's see if he's got anything for him on the straight. That Mustang at Chevy battle right here. Vandergeese taking a look. To the Dequetville hairpin. Maybe that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. I'm guessing. Sounds good. Dequetville. Sticking with it. Meanwhile, Rizzy and Smythe battle for 13th and 12th. Looks like he's looking for a way. So technical in here. And then it's like, okay, finally the relief. Give me something straight where I can go straight for a minute. And then yeah, you can open it up for a minute, and then you got the Senna chicane. So, you don't get a lot of room to breathe here. There's a couple spots to grab them straight, and the front straight there, the start-finish straight. About your only chance to catch your breath, and then it's back into crazy business. All right, meanwhile, here is this battle. Four, fifth place. Vandergeese applying the pressure. Hard on the brakes. Andrew Geese looks like he might have something for him. Woody's playing defense. Now 
down the Brabham Strait. Let's see if we can gain it. That Chevy in the draft of that Ford. Let's see what's up. Doesn't seem to gain. Looks like John's being really careful on the brakes there. Probably trying to save his tires as we are just under the 30 minutes remaining mark of this amazing final round thick. I am really, oh, Vanderpoos, he gets it all wrong. Come on, John. Oh, he was getting so close to putting up a pass and then gets it all wrong in that horrible section 12, 13, and 14, 15. It's just so tricky in there. You get it wrong, and there he goes. He's in for, he's in for tires, I'm sure. So Woody escapes again. And meanwhile, Jonas Legacion. We got a battle here with Stefan Winham for the top 10 as ninth place is looking like he's trying to take the spot. Takes a look inside. And that Coca-Cola that we saw earlier that was all fizzed up when he rammed it into the walls really coming to life. We have a couple more takers for the pits. High trees in the pits. And I believe uh, we'll... someone's just coming out. Vandergeese coming out. Vandergeese should be out now with fresh rubber. All right, but meanwhile, Freddie Hill and Jonas. The good fight right here for ninth and eighth. Wyndham gets the inside. It looks like Freddie's had a little drama there on his front end. Seems to be missing the uh, Mustang bumper. So, too bad that didn't happen for Mateo. Maybe would have cooled off his engine a little bit as that Ford Mustang driven by Freddie Hill is getting lots of air to that engine, keeping it nice and cool here in this uh, extremely heated Australian desert atmosphere. Good heaven, what is going on here? Meanwhile, Smythe and Rizzy. Smythe trying to look for a way around. Got a pretty tight little battle going on here. And a cloud of dust didn't go around, he did go around. So Rizzy takes a spin. Can he get it back together? Watch out for traffic. Watch out for traffic. Holy smokes. Uh, well, unfortunate for Rizzy as he uses the wall as a pinball to get himself back on track. And here comes Televite in the second place. So the leader's coming through Rizzy. So nicely done keeping uh, everybody else off of you. It looks like there's not too much damage to that car. But, oh, man, that cost him big. So that puts Smythe well into uh, 12th place. But I believe the battle for him and High Tree. Let's see where the High Tree is. So High Tree's chasing down the Silva. Yeah, and the gap. He's got that huge gap there. So High Tree. It's it's 44 seconds. But and the battle to 11th is 89 seconds. If this is if this is correct so let's just hit the magic refresh button make sure everything's looking good there we go there's our updated leaderboard and there's our leader Katanovic well out front Costas in fourth with Woody in fifth, Vandergeese in sixth now. After that off that he had. Take it easy, take it easy. Delvitier in the pits in third. Graf taking second place. The heavens to Betsy's going on here.
as we are coming in close to the 20 minute mark four minutes to go until the 20 minutes left still only four DNFs Dumners with his bumper and 14th Rizzi and 13th some 25 seconds so these guys have spread it out pretty good high trees got Silva in front of him only by three seconds so high trees got a shot here to get that top 10th if he could just get up to the Silva there and was that Freddie hell that's kind of behind him nope Freddie's driving around bumperless so he's keeping it cool Vandergeese meanwhile sixth place with Legacion some seven seconds back so there's lap traffic between uh, Vandergeese Guys are duking it out. Where is Costas? Here is Costas. Oh, I hear more carnage. Was that the Silva? No. Nope. I'm telling you, man, this throws me off every time. There's your sixth place. So high tree into Silva. All right, here we go. We got a race. Finally, somebody has caught someone. And it is the two Aptora cars. Once again, we have three in the race. Vandergeese Geese being the third. Currently in sixth. Hytree and De Silva are battling it out for that top ten. Currently Hytree on his tail. He's looking for the hairpin. Nicely done. Oh, he gets the spot as he comes up for Silva, just loses it, gets it all wrong. He's spinning it out. Can he regain the time? Lap traffic going around, so De Silva hanging on to 11th. As high tree starting to get away, and he's coming in for, for damage. So nice, nicely done. Is Woody just getting through pitting? So where does he come out? Woody's coming out of the pits. He's going to maintain his sixth place spot as he's got. Vandergeese is just ahead of him now by five seconds. So, Vandergeese, I believe, still needs to pit. I do not think he has pitted. Yeah, he's got zero pits unless, of course, it's the update situation, which is what we call R Factor 2 things. That If you look up R Factor 2 things, there's 14 pages of why did this happen and how did this happen and what does this mean and there's no answers to any of it. It's just the way it is. So Gratanovic, I think, coming up on some lap traffic. Look at this. He's about to lap. That's the sixth place car of Neil Wood. So, yes, first place is about to lap. Sixth place. I don't think he's going to. I don't know if Woody's going to let him around. Woody's a pretty tough contender when it comes to, you know, he might be getting the blue flag, but if he can hold pace in front of him, he has every right to stay up there. But if he's holding it up at all, he's, he'll he'll let him go. Meanwhile, the giving us a little show on two wheels. I really like the look of that Chevy, even with the dents in it. Look at it. it just looks kind of badass. I like it. Meanwhile, down the list, Jacob Smythe by himself, James Rizzi by himself, Ben Summers pretty much all on this lonesome. Then Legacion and Freddy's got 10 seconds on Freddy. Woody's got eight seconds to catch John Vandergeese. That's a tough gap to close without a pit stop. So as we are hitting the 20 minute mark, then Cal is in the pit. So this is going to put Tony back in second place. So Graf finally pits, and that puts Tony Talvitier back in second place. And he's got, as the timer kicks off, due to the fact that, oh, give him some room, give him some room, that uh, Graf is in the pits. That timing is going all crazy. So let's check up the current gaps. Positions gained lost now after the few pit stuff. So Tony's up one, Graf's up two. 
Hell's down two, Smite's down three. Everybody else is up, but Legacion is right in the middle. So, nicely done. And then the gap to the leaders is, how you doing? 20 second gap. See, this is how he's able to do his pit stops and not lose his position. He's just a gap master. And then 30 seconds due to the pit stop on Grappa. We will see if Talvitie is going to come in for pit for tires again too. Because if so, that'll heat up that battle between him and Graf, which is currently 30 seconds. And we will go back to the gap to the next car, not so much the leaders. You can kind of see how spread out these guys are. So, I mean, the closest race we have right now is uh, with Freddy. Showing him. Just two seconds off of Jonas. And hey, man, maybe that bumperless car is giving him less uh, drag. Keeping his engine cool. As he fights his way through Adelaide. I think these guys are fighting the track as, they, as much as they are each other, if not more. Ah. As he's pulling in. Okay, so that's going to open the door for for uh, Wenham. If Wenham can get around. Let's see, where's, where is Stefan? Jason Hightree, but I also believe that because of the pit stop, they're all going to move up a spot uh, that Freddy's in the pits. So, let's see. Hightree. Fifteen seconds on these guys. Let's see. They are coming through that last section. So let's see if uh, Hell can get out of the pits. It looks like he's done. Is he coming out now? Let's see where they line up. He's currently in ninth. So he got out of ninth, and he got himself a bumper. So now he's got the air cooling down. The brakes. The vents are back. He's back in action. So that's pretty good. That was actually a pretty quick pit stop considering he had to do body repairs as well. As we are hitting the 17 minute remaining mark in this final round six of this awesome V8 Supercars mod. This with the fresh rubber, look at the difference. I think he's just gonna take it to uh, Stefan here with the fresh rubber. If this is the section that's going to pay off where we have the turns and then now we're back into the straight. So the Brabham straight. He should be able to outbreak him here. Let's see what happens. Looking, he's looking. He knows he's got the advantage, but Steph shuts the door wisely. But look at that inside. There he goes. Yep, there was just nothing you could do, man, on old tires. You got that fresh rubber behind you. So, Freddy takes over eighth. Nicely done after the pit stop. Got Stefan in ninth and Pytree still some 12 seconds back to win him. So a pit stop could bump him up a little bit. Meanwhile, the closest race is Sumner's has got a personal best 138 165. I have to remember that first lap crash. So, anyway, back to the point in. So Talvite is only seven seconds off of the lead. Now it was 20 something seconds before. Did he pit again and we missed it? Good heavens to Benson. Shown him as one. Let's just hit this. Yep, graph with two stops, so. Dalvitie, second place. Comes eight seconds off, but then look at this. Graf is 13 seconds back. But I believe he has fresh rubber. So we shall see as we are at the 15 minutes remaining. So the third quarter of this race is over, and we are in the fourth quarter. Here we go. Show me what's up as Costas is pitting. So Cantathoris is pitting from fourth. This might move Vandergeest up. Let's see what happens. Where is he? 
It's got Woody on his tail. I believe Vandergeese is going to get this spot as he's coming around the final hairpin now. We're in that 13, 14, 15 section. And there is turn 16, so let's see where Cantasaurus is. Did Cantasaurus get out in time? It looks like he did. So, I must have been seeing things, but I thought for sure Vandergeese was going to gain a little bit on him. So as you can see by the gaps, there's some huge gaps going on here. It's, and the, the top, well we got six cars are on the lead lap and Woody did uh, Grutonovich get around him? He's not showing him a lap down, so perhaps. So where is Grutonovich now? Oh, yellow in sector two, who is it? There's seventh place, Legacion is all good. Freddy Hell. Holding on to eight. Stephen Winham. Holding on to that ninth spot. Mark High Tree keeping that car in the top ten. That's nicely done. As you can see, High Tree is up a spot from his qualifying position, so that's always a plus as he keeps it off the wall there. Nicely done. Meanwhile, Talvitier in second place. Making his way around. Graf still some 12 seconds off. The, but on the podium were Katasaurus is only four seconds ahead of Vandergeest. But you can see he's almost a full minute behind the podium. So unless something happens to one of the top three, Katasaurus is going to find himself at best fourth place. But that's if anything doesn't happen to the top three. And we all know that anything can happen. All right, let's take a look down the line here. Is Rizzy lap down to Silva? That gap to High Tree is 25 seconds. Get through some lappers there. There's 11th and 12th. So it shows to Silva and Smythe in a pretty good battle here. But I believe that it's just all a visual because I think he's a lap ahead. Yeah, Smith is a lap. He's down a lap, so. Silva could let him go and not lose the position and just get him off his back. Although he might think that he's racing him. I believe he's a complete full lap behind. So let's just see what happens here. That. As we will take our final look here, see exactly what's gonna go on here. We're in this really tricky section right in here. And I'll open it up. I wonder if Gills even knows that he's got nothing to worry about. Either that or the software is so screwed up and this is a really a race for position. As you can see cars coming around behind him. I believe this is the two cars that are closest together on track anyway, so what the heck? We'll just keep it here because it's good racing. Yeah, you can see he is one lap behind. All right, where is High Tree? High Tree currently in ninth now, so he's bumped himself up a spot. I think it might have been due to the pit stops, or, or I did see a yellow. Not sure. I'm gonna hopefully, get some more software here that it's going to show me a little bit more on track what's going on. Neil Woody was hooking me up with a couple of links, but during the downtime between the next series, I'm going to try and work on some of that stuff. We'll try to continue to bring you some live broadcasts here at Sim Racing Online. Meanwhile, Costas, well, let's get back to that. Was that 
that isn't a battle for position, I don't believe. Yeah. He's just letting him go. Doesn't affect Mark at all. <laughs> it looks like Mark might be experiencing the what we call lack of grip due to rubber attrition. As we are now under 10 minutes to go. See these cars starting to slip around and getting a little bit greasy. But glad to see both Bandergeist and High Tree in the top 10. And the Silva, also all Aptora cars are in the top 10, which is nice. At least for a minute here. Now we've got a race. Okay. Win them. Two seconds to make up. With, I think there's lap car in between. Yeah, that's Smythe. Two seconds back, you'll see him just coming around. No, we won't see him. Maybe we'll get a shot of him in uh, this one. But Stefan Wynnum should be just coming around the corner. But we're not going to see him. He's in the pits, that's why. Okay, so getting fresh rubber for the last eight minutes of this race. Just go ahead and let him go. Just let him go. He's not racing you, Stefan. There we go, Gills. Got any damage from that? Looks like the steering wheel's okay. He's probably got his feelings here a little bit. Oh, this is high treat. That was high treat, not Gills. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to tell when you're fighting the track. Oh, hang on to it, Mark. Huh. Yeah, I can tell you. He's getting greasy. Things are getting a little slippery there. Now let's check on Roman. There is our 12-second lead by our leader, Televitie. Strong second place with 10 seconds between him and Kale. So Kale has made up two of that. It was 12 seconds about seven eight minutes ago so he's made up a little bit of time but i don't think there's enough time left for him to get anywhere as long as tony can keep it between the lines i think we're going to be okay but that could be a test with the tires going and the time coming down you got to gamble you know seven minutes left what is it a buck 30 a lap so yeah you know four laps will they make it let's find out you can see, is that Freddy? Yeah, Freddy got himself up into eighth place. Nicely done. So all the Aptura cars are in the top ten. And Gills is in the pits now, so we will see if he can maintain that top ten. Because Wynnum could be closing on him. It looks like he's far enough back. I don't see high tree. Get oh, and Gills Silva, he is now out. Oh yeah, he's got he's got a huge gap, so not to worry there. But this is some traffic here, so we've got the leaders up in front. He is the blue flag car right now, so he's gonna let these guys through. Wisely done. Don't ruin your race. Gills, you are in the top 10, so let's just try and get it home. But meanwhile, we got a battle. We have a battle for fifth place as Woody has come to life with the last six minutes of this race. He's going to go for that fifth position. I believe this is the closest battle we have that it actually is for a position. The banner sees it's going to have his hands full. Is that Ford Mustang of uh, Mr. Wood is chasing down that Chevy Camaro of Mr. Mandelis. With five and a half minutes left. We're looking at probably three laps. A little bit of tiptoeing going on, I believe. Some of these guys might be at the end. Or a few of them pitted for fresh rubber, but... Yeah, you can see that Woody's kind of struggling a little bit there in the twisty section here. That's what got him in trouble before. So who knows how many laps are left on those tires. But Vandergeese, nerves of steel, Vandergeese, 
He's got all the tools he needs to bend him off. It's just if the car can survive it. As you can see him taking those curves aggressively, throwing that car around. We shall see. The gap's increasing. He had it down to under a second there. And the gap to, to seventh place is up a mile, 77 seconds, 75 seconds, something crazy like that. Any other battles? Let's see. Where is Wyndham and Smith? Let's see. Check this out. So, Jacob, within five seconds of Stefan Wyndham for that 11th bot. He's running out of time, though. Just that four-minute mark. He's got some ground to make up. Meanwhile, it's always lonely at the top. Oh, and there's, you know, a, a movie chicane. Good heavens to Betsy's. Who was that? Tony didn't hit him, did he? No, Tony's way back. There's Kyle. Was that? I believe that was... Was that Freddy? No. Smythe? It might have been Smythe. I think it was. No? Because he's still hanging on there. Was it Rizzy? Yeah, I think it was Rizzy. I don't know. Anyway, battle. Woody. Has closed the gap a little bit. I'm hearing a lot of contact. I'm seeing a bumper that was Vandergeese and went around and lost it. Vandergeese gives it up to Woody. I'm telling you, the rubber has come into play as Vandergeese is going to have to finish this race without a bumper. Oh, what a heartbreaker. He's got serious trouble. He can't turn. Is that Televite trying to get around him? Yeah, so the second place car gets. Oh, John, you got to nurse that baby back. Holy smokes, Vandergeese. Smacking it into the wall with five minutes to go. Look at that bent steering. Oh, John. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's the tires, man. You cook your tires, you're done. The gap between him and six is coming down. Let's see who is in seventh place. Is Legacy on. You can see he still has 60 plus seconds on Legacy on. So. There is 180 seconds left in this race, right? 220. So can Vandergeese, will he gamble or will he... <laughs> he's pinging it off the wall. He's in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. Hide your children, hide your eyes. This is not going to be anything nice. Of course, maybe that last little thing straightened him out. It could have straightened out his uh, steering. Let's see. Nope. Oh, he's making a blistering pace down the Brabham Strait. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. And the seventh place car of Legacion is battling in traffic his own. The leaders, that's the fourth place car of Kenton Norris that's actually holding it back. So, Vandergeese might be able to hang on. He's got 47 seconds on him. If he can just hang on for the last lap, he might be able to king out of that sixth place. He might just pull into the pits because the car's undrivable, though. But nope. I think he's... Let's see. Look at that. He can't even keep it straight. He missed pit lane. Keep it out there, John. Oh, he's going to get out of the way. Is he going to retire? Oh, man. Vandergeese is retiring. So that's going to put Legacion and Freddy and Hytree all up a spot as these guys are duking it out. So here is the battle for 7th and 8th. Who would have thunk it with the last minute to go? We've got a nice battle here. Vandergeese. Retired. Or is he? Maybe he's just parked it. I don't see him in the DNF list yet, although Rizzi has been the last one to join the DNF club. Anyway, time is going to be up. Where is Kutanovic compared to the clock? I don't want to miss this action because this is a race for position. Ready, desperately going for that sixth place spot.
I'm going to jump quick to Kratanovich because he's going to be coming across the line, but then right back to this. Fight for this. And where is Roman? Where in the heck is Roman? Is he is that the Brabham trait? There's Woody. Anyway, Freddy looking for a place inside. This is This is the only battle for position right now that's not a huge gap. So let's see. Oh Freddy's off into the dirt. It's gonna give like a Sean a shot keep it out there so this is the last lap for these guys Freddy's putting the pressure he's putting the pressure I think that's Kratanovich taking the checkered yes that was it meanwhile So it looks like a little bit of an off knocks Freddy back to the gap, but I think Roman has crossed the line already. I believe that this race is over. Talavite second, Kale's going to be third. Katsouris is going to be fourth. Woody's going to finish fifth. And here is that battle for sixth and seventh. This is still happening. I believe that's the case. Down the Bravo straight for the last time. Oh, Freddy. Freddy's tire's got to be gone. Coming across the start finish. And it looks like Jonas is going to hang on to it. Unless he blows it at the hairpin and he might. Oh, oh! it is Freddy that blows it at the hairpin. But he keeps it on track. And there is your sixth and seventh place finish. It was a battle. Woohoo! Nicely done. And there is your winner, Gratanovich, your champion, your series champion, Roman Gratanovich. I think he led every lap of this race. What a nicely done series by Roman. Great job. As the rest of these guys are filing in. Talvita getting second place. Graf getting third place. Captain Norris in fourth. Very nice. Let's check this out. Waiting to update in time. Jonas. I don't want practice results, you knuckleheads. It's my bad. Okay, race one, warm up. Here we go. There's what I'm looking for. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Roman Gatronovich, series champion, race winner of round six. Tony Talvitier, second place. Right before gear. Now that's going to affect the team championship, so we will have to wait till the points are calculated at the end. Kehal Graf, third place, nicely done. As you can see, there was one, two, three, four cars on the lead lap. Costas coming in fourth. Neil Woody coming in fifth. A lap down. Uh, Jonas Legacion and Freddie Hill sixth and seventh. That great end of the race. And Hightree getting an eighth place finish. Nicely done. And De Silva. And look at that. After all that, Vandrick, he still gets a top ten in the app for a car. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The final results will be posted on the SRO website, simracingonline.co.uk. Check it out. Uh, but once this file gets sorted and put in, the finals will be out. But we know that Roman is our champion with his 50-point lead coming into this race. So, heavens to Betsy, it's been amazing. I really thank everybody for sticking out and watching the with us. And uh, I hope to see you on the next one. 
Check it out. August 7th. Next series. It's going to be the GT Revival. i get you a little bit of info right now. Let's see. I think uh, the first race of the GT series. is going to be the 1960s championship GT Revival. All right, yeah, we are going to be at Kalami, then Ulton Park, then uh, Lunas Monterey, Ethel Sprut Cycle Cycle, Longford, and then Bathurst Mount Performance. So check that out. Sunday, April 7th is round one. Practice servers will probably be up shortly. And uh, get a hold of that. That'll be our next live broadcast. And I want to thank everybody for watching, and uh, we will see you on the next one. Adios.